Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to get into more Surface uh, design tools that we've added to the Bobcat software. Uh, so we'll jump right into it. I have some wireframe uh, profiles that I've already uh, drawn on different layers. And we're gonna use these with uh, extrude and extrude cut to create our solid. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, this is our uh, rectangle. We're gonna go to our extrude curves option. We'll chain select this and then we'll type in our heights in both direction. Now I've drawn this on Z0 and I'm going in both directions so that when I use some of the other profiles I can cut uh, the top and bottom uh, using the mirror function uh, with the wireframe. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I have this shape drawn. I'll go ahead and choose OK. I'll turn off that layer and you can see on layer one I have this uh, profile that I've created and uh, so I just drew the top profile and I was able to mirror it for the bottom profile and I'm gonna uh, cut our rectangle with that shape now one of the things that I think is kind of neat is even though we're still in the top drawing plane if we look at our UCS uh, user coordinate system we're still in the top drawing plane but when we go to do our extrude cut here uh, we can select our two profiles and you'll see over here in this option we have a long normal so even though we're drawing in the top plane we can extrude cut to the normal of the uh, geometry set we selected and, and I think that's a neat feature so you don't have to change your planes and you can easily just uh, extrude out you can also change it to a long Z if you want uh, sometimes that's necessary but again we're uh, extruding along normal uh, we could type in the values that we want here or we can just pull on these handles which is kind of nice so you don't have to manually type it in you can just stretch it out so it extrudes past the edge of the part and we'll choose OK so now you can see we've been able to cut down this profile okay so the next thing I want to do here is I want to move into the next layer and this layer has an outside and an inside shape okay so we can do an extrude cut again and I'm gonna select my uh, outside profile and my inside profile and uh, again we're gonna just cut away at this so I'm gonna bring this up uh, it's fine where it's located but I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit closer and then uh, we'll choose OK so now we can see we have that cut away as well and the last thing I want to do is pop out some holes so I will and when I'm toggling this is S for surfaces so I'm gonna do the extrude cut here and I'll just grab these two holes and we'll just break those through like that and then now we have our solid design so uh, as you can see to, if you were to do this in previous versions of Bobcad you could but you'd need to create the solids and do booleans which uh, could be you know just a few more steps the other thing that's really nice about this is you do have a history tree of the steps that you've uh, taken to create your design and then if you want to go back and uh, suppress features you can turn them off and you know that way when we went to machine this flat surface here you know if we were doing 3d machining it would just avoid or cut across the holes automatically instead of trying to go down inside of them but uh, those are the tips for today I'm sure if you guys have any questions or comments you will apply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in uh, otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.